I bought fabric, check it out. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back and joining me today. I have a, an, an, an impromptu fabric haul. <laughs> um, there's a couple of things kind of going on in the works in the background that we're not going to talk about just yet, but there are other things um, that I can talk about. First, I am in desperate need of some bottoms. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or not, but if you do, you might have seen the uh, closet clear out that I just did yesterday. Yeah, yesterday um, of things that don't fit. Things that like, they're like jeans or bottoms that are not like easily fixed or tops that are not easily fixed, like where I can take them out. I have a huge pile of things that I'm going to try to either refashion or um, kind of like make smaller, but there's a, there was an even, there was an even bigger, there we go, words, pile of stuff that there's just no way that I could really fix it. So I'm just going to go ahead and donate that. So I am in need of some bottoms. Yeah. So I picked up a few things. Um, this first one and anything that I talk about, I will, if they still have it in stock, I will try to link the actual fabric in the description box. And if it's not there, then I'll just link it to the person that I got it from. Yeah. Okay. First up is this, uh, Brussels linen, Brussels dyed linen from Style Maker Fabrics. And I picked up two yards because I want to make, what is that number? It's Butterick Culottes pattern that like, you know, was all the rage last year. We'll put a thing in here and I'll link it below. But yeah, this is going to be those, hopefully. Uh, but I think it will be perfect for this Texas heat. Check out that drape. It's going to be so pretty because, you know, it's hotter than Hades here. So got to have something. These next two are part of something that I'm not really going to go into detail about, but I will tell you what I'm going to make with them. I am going to, this is a, I don't think it's a rayon jersey, but it feels, I mean, it acts like one. I'm pretty sure it's cotton jersey. I'll try to link it below. But this I got from Stylish Fabrics, and again, below. I picked up a yard of this. I'm hoping for kind of like a slouchy top. Like maybe like a, a bound neck. Uh, yeah, I can see it in my head. I don't know. I have really a pattern for it. I might do some kind of a bat wing type thing something a little bit fancier than a plain old t-shirt so if you have any suggestions go ahead and put those in the comment box yeah the comments below um, because I, I see what I want in my head but I can't I can't really find anything that I uh, that I'm going for yet so yeah and extra bonus points if the pattern is free so there's that one. And then also from Stylish Fabrics, I picked this um, Ponte Roma up. It's cool, isn't it? Oh yeah, and that's totally the right color that you're seeing. It is gorgeous. And this is going to be something similar to those Butterick culottes. Um, can't really go into more detail because it's part of the thing that we're not talking about. So, yeah, um, this is going to be great. I am, like, totally in love with coral. I love it. It suits me, I think. Um, and I just think, ugh, I think those two together are going to be fab. There, now you can actually see it. I think those would be cool. Nice, slightly dress your casual outfit. So then I heard, it. I'm pretty sure I've heard of this one from Elizabeth, uh, from Elizabeth made this, uh, talk about surge fabrics. And I had never looked at the shop. I had never, you know, been in the Facebook group or anything like that. So I didn't really know 
you know, I don't know anything about them. So I went ahead and joined the Facebook group. And when you join, you get, I think it's a 10% off coupon. So that's something to think about. I'll link it, this stuff also. Um, my youngest child, my youngest daughter, has been wanting a, another cardigan. She wears cardigans all year long. I don't know how she does it. She hates the heat, but she does it. Um, and she would like to have a grandpa cardigan from Patterns for Pirates, and we'll do the thing here. And this fabric is gorgeous. I really, really like it a lot. I mean, you can actually see the little knit stitches in it. It's so pretty. I'll go ahead and hold it up for you. Keep you from... Okay, so this is actually showing up redder. It's actually like a wine color, burgundy-ish, not, not so brick colored. But yeah, this is super lovely. Let me see if I can show you the back. It's like, it's, it almost feels like one of those luxurious towels. You see that? There you go. Yeah, it's going to be super, super warm. <laughs> She's probably going to sweat to death in it. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to make the grand cardigan with that. The only downside to serge fabrics, and yep, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's $13, $13 for the shipping for a medium flat rate box. And I'm sorry, I love this fabric. And they have a lot of really nice stuff, but unless their shipping goes down, I don't think I'll be buying from them again. Um, they're only in Wisconsin. I'm in Texas. It's not that far away. It's not like um, overseas shipping. This is intercontinental United States. And I just think that that's, uh, I think that's too much money for shipping. Sorry. Sorry, Serge. Um, I love your fabric and stuff, but I don't love your shipping costs. Um, that was probably mean, huh? But it's the truth. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and tell lies. <laughs> okay, so this next one has got fuzzies on it from that fabric, and now so do I. <clears throat> I had to stop by our local um, quilt shop because I, need a, I needed a uh, background fabric for this class that I'm going to be taking next and yeah, next Friday. Um, and it's called the feathered star and the teacher's name is Winnie something. I'll try to link her if there's anything to link. Um, but she has a technique for the feathered star and it's really, really super cool. Uh, let me see. So it's this technique for this quilt block. It's called feathered star. And so, yeah, there you go. Isn't that neat? I think it's pretty swanky. So yeah, you can do that. You can just do the one block and like turn it into a hanging or hopefully that won't focus. There we go. That is like the whole quilt. I'm pretty sure there's not enough wine in the county of Hardin to make me want to do that. But you never know. So anyway, yeah, that's for that class. So uh, while I was there, our uh, local quilt shop has uh, recently started stocking some other fabrics than just quilting fabrics, which thank you, Vintage Owl, if you ever watch this. Um, they've got some art gallery uh, rayons, and they also have some art gallery knits. And I think they have a few other things too, but I'm not entirely sure. So anyway... Um, I'm always, always on the hunt for knit fabrics for Jack. Let me see if I can find a spot that is not like completely. Um, yeah, there's just fuzzies all over it. But this is a art gallery knit. I'm trying to read the selvage, sorry. 95% uh, cotton, 5% spandex. And it is called Deep Dark Ocean. And it's so nice and soft. So this is, this is for Jack and I'm going to do, it's a birder, birder, blah, 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 birda pattern. And actually the Stitch Sisters, uh, Rachel just made it. It's the one that Rachel just made for her husband. 
I've had that pattern for a while. Now I picked it up, actually not a while, like maybe a couple months ago to make for Jack because, um, you know, he's losing weight too. And so all of his t-shirts look like the little get along shirts that your parents used to put you in when you were kids. That was just my parents. Yeah. <laughs> so if we were bad, they would put us in a big t-shirt together and make us sit there until we were nice to each other again. <laughs> Ah, oh, yay. I miss my parents. Anyway, um, and then I picked up, because I'm always on the hunt for a white. And this isn't like a true white. It's Well, it says snow white on the selvage. Yeah, it says snow white, but it, I don't know. I think it's a little bit cream when I look at it as opposed to in the camera. Like in person, it looks creamier. But it is, it is really, really soft. And when I held it up um, to myself just with a, a nude colored bra on, I couldn't see anything through there. So that was a bonus, which is, you know, that's what I'm looking for. I want white tees and white tops that I can wear and I don't have to worry about, you know, having to wear something else extra underneath of it because it's Texas, it's hotter than hell. So that is it. Is there anything else I got? I have some other stuff coming, but that is for the secret squirrel project that is happening um, soon. And um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else, guys. Just want to say thank you to all of our subscribers and welcome to the new subscribers. We appreciate you. And don't forget to keep sharing us. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, do all that stuff. And we shall talk to you all soon, guys. Take care. Bye.